friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here it is grocery haul time you are in store for my weekly ww grocery haul we're going to talk about what i am having on my meal plan and also what i am doing for meal prep i have a grocery haul from both walmart and fred meyer which is a kroger store coming your way so if you want to see what i picked up for the upcoming week and what's on my meal plan and meal prep just stay tuned So here's my Walmart pickup order. I just got a few things at Walmart. And next up, you will see my Fred Meyer or my Kroger order. So the first thing I picked up was a 24 pack of Diet Coke for my husband. If you guys shop at Walmart, this is a steal. This 24 pack was less than $6. That is a killer, killer deal for Diet Coke. So grab that for him. I also picked up two of the Light and Fit Greek Pumpkin Pie. I really like this yogurt with the cinnamon smart cake and a little bit of fat-free ready whip. So I picked up two containers of yogurt. Some more fat-free cheese. As you know, my Fred Meyer Kroger does not carry fat-free cheese, so I have to pick it up at Walmart. And I actually had ordered fat-free mozzarella. They didn't have any, so they substituted the part skim, which is just fine. I'll take the points for it. So mozzarella and fat-free cheese. I also grabbed two more bags of my bird's eye veggie made mac and cheese. We love this. My husband loves it. I love it. It is so expensive at Fred Meyer. I always pick it up when I do a Walmart pickup. So two packages of that. You guys, if you have not tried this, it is better than regular mac and cheese. So good. I also picked up a box of Pillsbury sugar-free brownie mix. I used my other uh, mix to make my Halloween baking video. So I wanted to restock my brownie mix. I add this to my cart a lot and they generally don't have it. So happy to see that they had it this time. Also a can of 100% pure pumpkin. I like to have this on hand this time of year, of course, for baking and recipes. I actually had ordered the Walmart brand and they substituted the Libby's. Sugar-free vanilla jello pudding. When I went to make my pumpkin fluff during meal prep, I thought I had vanilla sugar-free pudding and I only had cheesecake, which by the way, tastes amazing in there. But I did go ahead and pick up some vanilla to have on hand. Some cheese tortellini. This is for a collab video that you'll see most likely before this one. Um, I'm making a really, really delicious recipe. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I needed cheese tortellini for that. And we stocked up on some tomatoes because I'm gonna be putting the skinniest dish crock pot marinara into my crock pot right now. I will link that recipe down in the description box. So for that, I needed three cans of crushed tomatoes, the large cans, 28 ounces. Highly recommend Hunt. I think the sauce tastes way better with Hunt than any other brand of tomatoes. And then I also needed two cans of dice, so I decided to get the roasted garlic just to add a little bit of extra something something to my marinara. So I picked up all these canned goods for that recipe. So that's everything from Walmart, and let's move right into Fred Meyer and Kroger. And here is my grocery haul from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. So this will round out all of my groceries for this week. So let's get into my Fred Meyer haul. I grabbed some 90 calorie Pillsbury reduced fat crescent rolls. This is for an upcoming breakfast meal prep recipe. This is a substitution to biscuits because these are a lot less points. I can't wait to share that breakfast recipe with you guys. I also grabbed a bottle of the Kroger hoisin sauce. This was the calories on this, you guys, are 35. The calories on the name brand of hoisin sauce were 90. I could not even believe it. So I picked this up. I literally need just a couple of tablespoons for a recipe, but that way I have it on hand. It is pretty good on chicken and any other type of oriental or Chinese dish. Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. This is for my upcoming breakfast meal prep. Also a can of Rotel. I picked up the diced tomato and green chili. This is for lunch meal prep. Also for my lunch is no fat traditional Rosarita refried beans and also enchilada sauce. This Las Palmas brand is the lowest points. So if you have this in your store, I have looked at all the enchilada sauces and this is by far the lowest point. So that is all three of these is for my lunch meal prep. 18 of the Simple Truth Natural Cage-Free Eggs. Look at this price, 
Crazy, right? I am making breakfast burritos for my husband's lunch. So I picked up these eggs. That way I can just scramble them all up and I can fill up his burritos with eggs. And this is a killer price for 18 cage-free eggs. And then for myself, I grabbed my favorite or one of my favorite eggs, the Vital Farms. These are the pasture-raised eggs. These are delicious. My number one is Happy Eggs. Those are my all-time favorite. But I had a coupon for these and these are really good as well. These are pasture-raised happy eggs there's no weird antibiotics and the yolk is orange which is definitely a good sign of a quality egg so those are for my breakfast chicken breast i didn't make it to costco this week so i just grabbed another bag of the trader or trader joe's what store am i at the kroger brand of the thin sliced chicken breast frozen just easy to keep on hand i definitely need a costco run though for chicken center cut bacon i had a coupon that was expiring for this so i went ahead and picked it up that way i had it on hand i'm just going to throw it in the freezer of course, I picked up two more containers of my sugar-free peppermint mocha coffee make creamer. I buy this almost every week because it's my favorite and I want to have it for the entire year. So I actually just throw it into the freezer. It freezes perfectly. You take it out. You have sugar-free peppermint mocha or pumpkin creamer all year long. So my goal is to pick up a couple every week and then I'll have literally dozens frozen, like a freezer full, but I'm okay with that. So two more of the sugar-free peppermint mocha, some light shredded cheese. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. And then I grabbed an oat yeah, silk oat yeah vanilla yogurt this is oat milk yogurt i saw this on my really good friend amanda lewis's channel if you do not follow her it is amanda lewis on youtube and rip fat girl on instagram she's amazing she's obsessed with this yogurt so i wanted to try it i will agree with her it's pricey it was two dollars and forty cents for this one container it is three smart points but i wanted to try it and next up i'm going to be buying oat milk per her recommendation she loves it so I'm definitely gonna report back on what I thought of this yogurt. So this week I grabbed the cashew milk from Silk. I had a coupon for this, otherwise I would have grabbed oat milk. That is next on my list. You know I always have some sort of almond or milk alternative on hand. So this week it is unsweetened vanilla Silk. Everything else is vegetables and fruit. So I grabbed two bags of my very favorite frozen vegetables. Again, I had a great coupon for these. If you have this particular brand, these Grande Classics flavor pack in your store, these vegetables are so good. They are full whole vegetables, none of those little stems and pieces. It's full vegetable. They taste fresh. They are that delicious. So I love the Pacific blend. It's sugar snap peas, yellow carrots, carrots, and broccoli. And then I also love the Northwest blend, which is broccoli, broccoli, carrots, green beans, yellow carrots, wax beans, and red pepper. And I'm telling you, these are the freshest frozen vegetables ever, ever, ever. So if you have this brand, definitely pick it up. I decided to have pears as a fruit this week. So I have four Anjou pears, a big avocado. I was craving some avocado. So I'll incorporate this somehow in my lunches. Also some tomatoes. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe and a bag of hearts of romaine, which is also for an upcoming dinner recipe. The only thing not shown is a case of water. So let's get into what I have on my meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. All right, let's get into this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. This is my Cariel meal planner. I get a lot of questions on this. This is the eight and a half by 11. They do also have a smaller version and a digital version. I love my meal planner. I literally use it every single week, as you know. I don't really honestly don't know what I would do on this journey without it. I'm obsessed. So in your meal planner, you have several tabs. The first one is your resources tab, and that's where you can jot down your favorite meal planning blogs, recipe sites, recipes, whatever you would like to use that section of your meal planner for. We also have an inventory section where it allows you to inventory your freezer, your pantry and also your spices so lots of option to keep track of what you have on hand and the expiration date my favorite tab is the meal plans we'll come back to that there is the gatherings tab that is where you can plan your gatherings and this time of year we always have a lot of gatherings between halloween thanksgiving christmas new year's you name it, there's some gatherings happening. So this is a great place for you to plan out your menu. It literally gives you a place to write all of your menu, especially kids and supplies. 
and then there is a detachable grocery list for each event so that you can jot what you need to pick up at the grocery store and take that with you to do your shopping love this tab and then lastly is the notes tab and that's where you can jot down your favorite recipes notes really anything that you kind of want to keep track of in your meal planner and before we go to the meal plans tab i wanted to show you that there is also a two-sided folder in the back of your meal planner for you to store whatever you would like in your meal planner so love it let's go back to our yellow tab which is our meal plans we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip right ahead to the month of October. So here is October at a glance. So you can see that there is a monthly calendar, just like you would see in your traditional planner. This is where I write down what is on my menu to eat for the week. That way the night before I can take a quick look at this and make sure that A, I have my meat pulled out of the freezer for that recipe, and B, that I have everything on hand for the recipe, to prepare the recipe. There's even a note section at the bottom of the monthly calendar. I use it every every week. It really does help me stay on track and make sure I have everything on hand for the next night's dinner. And then you each week will have a weekly menu. And this looks very similar to the gatherings. You will plan your meals. I generally just plan dinner in these spaces. So you can plan your week's worth of dinners. And then you also have a detachable grocery list, just like you do for the gatherings. I use the grocery list and the weekly menu every single week. In fact, you can see for this week that the grocery list is missing because of course I took it to the grocery store with me today. So I love my planner, love it. I do have a code for the Carryell meal planner. I will put it on the screen at the end for you. It gets you 10% off of a meal planner. You guys, you have to have it. No matter whether you do the digital or the eight and a half by 11 or the smaller version, definitely get it to track your life, to track your meals, to help on your journey. So let's talk about what I'm doing this week. So my week goes Saturday to Friday. So this should be 1020 through 1026. Saturday is the day that I use my weekly. So I generally go out to dinner or some sort of meal on Saturday. Sunday, this looks familiar. It is another rollover, another week of the chicken cobbler. Last week was a little hectic returning from Vegas and I went to Jazzercise a couple of nights and just wasn't able to make all of my menus. So I promise this recipe's coming. It'll be in my What I Eat in a Day posted on Wednesday. And then on Monday, another rollover for the second week in a row are my Taco Pockets. These are vegetarian. So this you will see in an upcoming vegetarian video. Tuesday, I go to Jazzercise in the evenings. So that is a leftovers night. Wednesday, I'm gonna be making a slow cooker hoisin chicken recipe with rice. Uh, tis the season for the slow cooker. So we're going to be doing some slow cooker recipes. So stay tuned for those. Thursday night, I also go to Jazzercise in the evening. So we'll have leftovers. And then Friday, I'm doing a low carb Big Mac salad. I've heard about this. I can't wait to try it and share it with you guys. So that's what I'm having for dinners for this week. On the back is where I plan out my meal prep. It literally just makes it easy. So for breakfast this week, and you will see all of these recipes in meal prep Monday, I'm going to be making a biscuit egg casserole. You guys, this sounds amazing. And I'm just gonna pair that with some fruit. For lunches, I'm making a chicken enchilada bake. This is a great Weight Watchers recipe. It's delicious. It's so filling and satisfying. And I'll pair that with probably a vegetable and some fruit and then and then for a snack or a dessert, I'm gonna be making a Weight Watchers friendly apple crisp. Again, tis the season, you guys, it is apple season. So I'm gonna be making an apple crisp. So that's what you'll be seeing for meal prep. So again, this is my Carriel meal planner. My code is here on the screen. It will get you 10% off of a meal planner of your choice. Again, you guys, highly, highly recommend. Thank you for joining me on another WW Weekly Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the groceries that I picked up this week, as well as what I'm doing for dinners, which you will see the majority of those in upcoming videos, and of course meal prep, which you will see in Meal Prep Monday. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss out. Make sure that you thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know two things. What meal on my meal plan are you most excited about? And also, what of the three things that I'm prepping for meal prep are you most excited about? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.